Hey, this is Dino, and I'm going to show you how to create a new proxy. We're going to make it a reverse proxy. Uh, and we're going to call it Brenda. And this is fake. We're not going to use that, but we have to put that in. We want this to be a pass-through security. So check that box. Um, I do not want it to listen on the insecure virtual host. I don't want to deploy it yet because I have some work to do on it. Let's click through. We'll have a look at it. Uh, develop. So there are no scripts there. What I'm going to do is add a few. Um, I want to add node. and It's going to be the selector I have the client that I built. Uh, it's really a, a relay. I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. And then there are two other files that that thing depends on. So I'm going to import those files, select node, and again, choose that. One of them is XML pretty, prettyfy. We'll include that. And then the other one is the uh, print soap client, which is here. So I'll add all those. Now I have all that stuff. Um, this is the relay. And really, it's just a it's doing an HTTP server, and it's listening. Um, and then for every request that comes in, it invokes this function to handle inbound request. And what that's doing is calling the SOAP client, which is the thing that I demonstrated earlier. And the SOAP client just uh, calls out to this thing at that endpoint, and it uses this username and this password. Um, this is hard-coded now. Obviously, these are not valid. But even when you do have valid uh, values. You're not going to want to embed those in code. You're going to want to get those in from a secure store, but I'll leave that up to you. Okay, so uh, at this point we have node scripts, but we do, do not have a node target, so I'm going to add one. I'm going to say node.js, and I'm going to call this footprints as the node target, and I'll specify that relay. Okay, so now that's what we've got. I don't actually need this default target endpoint, so I'm going to delete it. But what that means is now here in the, um, in the proxy endpoint, I'm going to need to add a target endpoint, and we'll call it foot. We'll specify the footprints. Okay, so what that says is this is the proxy endpoint. This is the listener. It's going to listen on uh, the secure uh, virtual host, and the base path is that. When it gets a request, it will forward it or proxy it to this um, target, this footprints target. The footprints target is here, it responds to this guy, and then that's going to invoke this thing, which, as I said, is just a simple server. And it uses these other two dependencies, this one and this one, which we just imported. So all that we're going to save. It's going to ask us to save as a new provision. At this point, I ought to be able to uh, deploy that. Um, to my environment. Okay, once we get deployed, I'll flip over to trace, turn on the trace session, and at this point I'm going to want to invoke it, and this is the URL that I'm going to use. So, do that, curl minus i, uh, and it doesn't matter what I send, uh, but as you can see, I'm getting a SOAP message in response. And that is by design. If I look here, I can see the request came in. Uh, we didn't have any policies that ran on the proxy endpoint, but it is invoking that JavaScript, that Node.js. If I um, look at the Node.js logs for my environment, I can see the uh, the request body that's being sent out, and then the response body, which I am logging from my code. And this is exactly what I'm relaying back to the uh, original client. OK, that's it.